and Anna Norquist with a, well, trying to get up and down, you would think, um, at the first hole here. We will join this action. Yeah, and she's normally not really good around the greens, but uh, no way she could put it from that live. But, you know, what the heck? Let's <laughs> chip it in. Fist bump at the first, too. We saw Carolyn Headwell a moment ago with the birdie to win the hole, Ali, and now she's got another look at it. I guess she's wishing that this was a bit closer now. Uh, this opportunity has come her way, but a chance to get to five up in this match. Impressive. She's been key today, Caroline Headwell. She's finding out how tough it can be. Oh, she had a really nice putt there. They can't buy a putt today in that match. So it's not curtains just yet for Team Japan. They live to play another hole, but they are up against it now. Dormy five down. Japan running out of holes. And it's made the front edge of the green, and that wasn't with driver. So that was one mighty blow from Carolyn Hebble. Whilst Things are looking pretty glum here. They are in a strong position to walk away with two points at the end of the day. Misuzu Narita, little pitch, struck the driver well and gives herself a good chance of making the birdie and prolonging it just a little bit further. So if this goes in, it'll complete what has been a complete performance by Sweden. And that should do it. I don't think there's any coming back from here. Are they going to make them finish it out? Oh, it's a hole well. out for glory. Well, that should do it. Or will it? Surely. No, let's take it all the way down to the end. <laughs> Carolyn, you've got two putts <laughs> to win this match. No, I, you okay. haven't. <laughs> now they've worked it out. Yeah, finally, sanity prevails, and that was an insane performance. How good was that? Anna Nordquist and Carolyn Headwell, six and four, completely dominant over Misuzu Narita and Mamiko Higa. So the first points of the day go the way of Sweden. On the ninth to have the hole for Ayako Uehara. Very nice. But they're firmly in charge. At the 11th, this is Madeleine Sagstrom who has a par putt and this is for the win. Right in the heart of the hole. Japan five, three to four. Well, they go back to three down. Par three. Which wood is that one, Karen? <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, you think about uh, advancements in golf club technology and everybody talks about how far the driver goes, how far the ball goes. I think one of the biggest advancements in technology, particularly for the women's game, birdie opportunity for Ayako Uehara, but it is for the half after Penilla Lindbergh's excellent putt. Japan four up. <laughs> Lovely smooth roll there. Japan Absolutely. Two. Sweden two. No doubt Japan at all. remains four up. Uehara second at the 14th. And a good one. That could be the end of the match, depending on what Sweden can do. This is where Madeleine Sagstrom's drive ended up at the 13th, and she's, uh, excuse me, the 14th, and she's thinking about trying to hole it. Is 
that may be what she needs to do to keep the match going. And how about that shot from Madeline? So if this goes in, it will force Penilla Lindbergh, excuse me, Madeline Sagstrom to hold her birdie, which would be a tremendous up and down. Mm. And then the Japanese will be dormy in the match. Yep. They played well today. Is to hard the hole and continue the match. Yep. So they've still got a chance. They're fighting for one point right now. Lindbergh trying to extend the match at the 15th. Lindbergh and Sagstrom. is going to be the end of their morning as Japan the five. Japanese pair. Sweden five, Japan wins four and three. There you go, win the match four and three. Nasa Hataoka and Ayako Yurihara four and three over Penilla Lindbergh and Madeline Sagstrom. That means the uh, Japanese and the Swedes take two points each out of their matchup this morning.